Hello and welcome back to your 20th Django tutorial. Uh, moving right along here. Um, now we're going to create a new app. It's going to be a newsletter app. Uh, and the main reason why we want a newsletter app for our web app is to uh, keep users coming back. I mean, what's the point of having a website if, or a web app, I should say, if you don't have uh, users uh, returning? So um, a good way to do that is via the newsletter. Now, um, the features of this newsletter are going to be, one, the user can sign up for it, two, the user can unsubscribe from it, and then um, eventually we're going to throw in uh, the ability to, uh, when there's a new tutorial series posted, it, it will automatically send it to the user. Uh, also, when the user signs up, we'll send a little welcome message, and when the user unsubscribes, we'll uh, put a little message on the unsubscribe page. Also, we will send them an email stating, hey, you've been unsubscribed and you're no longer receive uh, emails from our web app, all right? So um, let's dive into it. The first thing we need to do is create an app. So if you remember how to do that, all we do is python manage.py start app and we're going to call it newsletters with an S. Go and hit return. And there we go. So if we go and open up our text editor, I'm going to close out all of this crap. All right. Um so let's find a newsletter. I got some crap going on here. I don't even see my newsletter app. What in the hell? What the hell? All right, instead of starting over, uh, my newsletter app showed up as soon as I pause, pause the video. Um, it appears just being slow today. Anyhow, um, let's get started. So the first thing we would like to do is actually open master. Go to your settings.py file. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our app in there. I try to keep them in alphabetical order so I can find them. But uh, this is something I tend to always forget. Newsletters. <laughs> Um, so we'll add newsletter app to our installed apps in settings.py file. We can close that file out because we're not going to need it right now, but eventually we will. All right, so we'll go to uh, models.py. We want to go ahead and create our model first. Now, this is going to be a very simple model when it comes to the newsletter because really all we need is an email address. Now, we're going to add something else into it, and what that's we're going to... Um, capture the exact time the person uh, signed up for the newsletter. Um, that way we know when the person signed up. Uh, also, if the person comes after you for saying, hey, you're sending me spam, and be like, hey, dude, you signed up on June 10th, 2017 at 4 o'clock. Well, you know, then you kind of protect it. So anyhow, let's go ahead and go uh, create a class. Um, just got a message. My mouse battery is about to die. Hopefully, we can get through this before that happens. So, class newsletter uh, users. We'll call it newsletter users, and that's models dot model. All right. And in here, like I said, we're just gonna have two fields. One's gonna be email. So we're gonna go ahead and do models dot email field. And what email field does is check the um, if it's a valid uh, formatted email address. So if it has the at and the dot something. So that's what it's checking for. It's not actually going to check if it's a valid email address because how would it do that? But it will check the format of the email address. Okay. So um, all right. Now we want to do uh, the date it was added. So let's just call it date added. And we'll do models.date 
time field and then this takes an argument um, there's uh, auto now or auto now add auto now add is the one we're going to use because the auto now add um, gets the uh, time it was created now the auto now anytime it's updated changed modified any sort of way then it records the time so we're going to use auto now add all right and we're going to set this to true cool and then the last thing we need to do is define our s string function of self and this just returns a beautiful rendition of email self dot email there we go all right now that we have this set up um the next thing i want to do is set up our admin.py so we can add some email addresses make sure everything's functioning the way we'd like it to so let's go ahead and do that so in here we need to first import the model so we'll do from dot models import newsletter users there we go now um instead of just register registering registering wow register am i having a stroke anyhow <laughs> instead of register i can't say registering our newsletter users model and then coming back and setting up the list display because i want to be able to see the email and the date it was added um we're just going to go f jump right into modifying the list display and then registering our um, admin site register. So let's do that. Let's do class uh, newsletter and we'll call it admin. And then we'll do uh, admin dot model admin. All right. Oh, now we want to set the list display. So list display and we're going to put it in the tuple and then email then comma and then date oops that needs to be a string date underscore add it comma oh, only a comma there and then we need a comma after date added though to make it a tuple there we go and then we'll come down and register now I can say it stroke must be over admin dot site dot register and then we'll do news letter users comma newsletter admin all right so we register the model and then we register our subclass of model admin and we save it and we open our browser and we go to uh, let's just go to home here and we first off should see something i don't see something oh okay. two things we got to do i forgot uh, three things actually python manage manage.py make migrations so we gotta make our migrations and then we gotta migrate and then we can run the server and check it out all right and then we do python manage.py migrate now this is gonna migrate our model into the database so there we go. And then we do python manage.py run the server. And then once that starts going, we'll go in here and hit return. Boom. There's our newsletter users. We got to change that because that looks like crap. But we'll do that later. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and create a user. A user. And we're just going to use support at master code that on nine. If you guys ever have any questions, shoot it there. Send my personal email address that I gave away earlier. All right. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so here's our list display. We got the email address. We got the date added. Okay, so that's what we're looking for in this tutorial. Um, and before we go any further, let's go back and change something here. Let's change this to user. 
Let's go to our models, change this to user instead of users because I shouldn't have made it with a plural because Django adds plural to it. You got to save your files and then well, let's go kill the server. Let's do uh, control C and do python manage.py make migrations. Uh, oh, hold on. In your admin, right here, we need to change out user. There we go. Now go back and run make migrations. And then it's going to ask you if you want to change it. Did you rename the newsletter newsletter users model to newsletter user? Yes, I did. And then we do Python manage.py migrate. There you go. And now, once that's done, we can do Python manage.py run server. And then once it starts kicking on, we go into our uh, newsletter in the admin. And then you see it says newsletter users, or actually we saw it newsletter users instead of newsletter users users with an s double s so now that looks better all right so i'll see you in the next tutorial where we create the view that will allow the user to uh submit their email address we'll create the template for that and also the unsubscribe view and the template for that and then uh, in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and extend it a little bit further so i'll see you in the next tutorial